Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fine Arts and Travel. This is the third part and you will be seeing four Adityas in this video. From Mangala Gauri Temple Mayukha Aditya, now we are going to Yama Aditya and on the way we can see many small temples as Varnasi is the city of small temples. This is Ram Ghat and here there is a small temple of Lord Shiva. This temple is also very special and here you can see the Linga is very different. Now we are going towards Sankhar Ghat and on the way you can see this Lakshmi Narayan temple, a very old and very big temple from outside. As we walk in these narrow streets, we can see many wall paintings and many small temples as we go. Now we are reaching Yama Aditya and Yama is the son of sun god and he did tapasya meditation here and when he did sun god gave him the power and this power is stored here so he is blessed and boomed with that whoever does pitru pujas here near yama aditya it is equivalent to um, gaya this Yama Aditya is near Sankar Ghat and from here now we will be going to Nepali temple Ganga Aditya. So now we are walking down all the ghats. These ghats are uh, very near one after other and uh, um, uh, Nepali temple is almost near Harishchandra Ghat. As we are moving towards Nepali temple, you can see here on the way very old and beautiful temples. The best time to visit Varnasi is from September onwards as this is summer season. Uh, it is very hot here. This is one of the gates to Kashi Vishwanath temple and now as we go further on the bank of this river Ganga, here there is a Nepali temple from far we can see and now we will be reaching here near to this temple. As we enter this Nepali temple we have to climb steps and again climb down to see Ganga Aditya. It is believed that sun god did tapasya and then Ganga came down for him here and uh, the sun god energy is stored here inside this place and uh, here it is known as Ganga Aditya and if we do meditation and prayer here for Ganga Aditya it is believed that no one can cheat us and we will never be cheated by anyone. Around Ganga Aditya you can see Shivalingas and now we are seeing here outside also there is a, a sun god impression this is also Ganga Aditya so energies are here all around and now we will visit uh, Bashpatinath uh, Nepali temple this is Nepali Bashpatinath Shivalinga and here when we enter and uh, generally for all gods we go all around but here we have to come halfway and then again return backwards as we enter towards left we have to go half and again we have to come back that is what the uh, here pujari told us after visiting nepali temple I have entered uh, Kashi Vishwanath temple from back and from here we will be going to uh, Vridha Aditya. Kashi Vishwanath temple is very beautiful inside as you can see this part of the temple is so good and now we are moving out of this temple and in the marketplace you can see here there is on the left 
there is a big ganesha special ganesha in varanasi there are um, many varieties of ganesha gods but uh, uh, some ganeshas we can't take video so uh, as i am going further we will go to uh, vridha ditya vridha means old one old man did tapasya to sun god and prayed him to give him more energy to do more tapasya for him so sun god was pleased and he uh, he gave him a wish and here the sun god energy is stored with it is believed that if we pray and meditate here we will have a good health throughout our life and especially in the old age as we enter this small temple of riddhaditya towards the right are the shivalingas and towards the left is the riddhaditya where this old man did tapasya the energy of sun god is stored there you can see so many shivalingas here inside this temple this is vridhaditya श्री विद्याय नम On the right of Riddhaditya there is another room where you can see these shivalingas and here Lord Shiva is being prayed Near Annapurna temple and inside Kashi Vishwanath temple there is Drupadaditya which is now closed so I could not see Drupadaditya I have a picture of Drupadaditya I am sharing with you It is believed that Draupadi and Yudhishthir prayed to Sun God and did tapasya when they were in exile as they didn't have food so Sun God gave them Akshay Patra here It is believed that if we pray near Drupada Ditya there won't be any scarcity of food throughout our life Do like share comment and subscribe my channel friends I'll be coming up with more interesting videos on travel and art keep watching thank you see you bye bye